Today's lesson is a quadratic formula. Uh, there are certain items that I want to review with you. Before we go into the quadratic formula, one of them is what is the meaning of the discriminant? And the discriminant is the expression that's underneath the radical b squared minus 4ac so it's b squared minus 4ac and uh, if the discriminant is larger than 0 then th that means that the quadratic will go will intercept the x-axis twice and here is the picture that it shows you the two different situations when we have the discriminant greater than 0 when the discriminant is equal to 0, exactly 0, then there's only one answer, there's only one solution. Or it intersects the x-axis once. Now, what happens if the discriminant is less than 0, which is this last situation? If it's less than 0, then that means it doesn't even intersect the x-axis. So there's three different situations. There is uh, two real solutions. That means it's greater than zero. Equal to zero, there is only one time that it crosses the x-axis. And in the last situation, it doesn't cross the x-axis at all. What are the solutions? Use a quadratic formula. So here's a quadratic formula. The first step is to make sure that it's written in standard form. That means that the 4, the constant, will have to move to the left, so they subtracted 4. So the value of a is 2, the value of b is negative 1, and the value of c is negative 4. Here is the formula, and so we know that b is negative 1, so you substitute negative 1. Remember that you can also always have positive and negative, two different types of solutions for a radical. So B is negative 1, so we have negative 1, we substitute negative 1. A is 2, so we substitute 2. And C is negative 4. So once we do, once we simplify, we get these two answers. We have 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 divided by 4. Or you can write it as 1 plus the square root of 33 over 4, or 1 minus the square root of 33 over 4. Applying the quadratic formula, your school's jazz band is selling CDs as a fundraiser. The total profit depends on the amount of X that your band charges for each CD. The equation is P equals negative X squared plus 48X minus 300. Models the profit of the fundraiser. What is the least amount in dollars you can charge for a CD to make a profit of $200. So I know it's going to be 200, because that's what I want, equals negative x squared plus 48x minus 300. Remember that it has to be written in standard form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 200 from both sides. So I have a 0 equals negative x squared plus 48x minus 500. The next step would be to identify A. In this case, A is negative 1. B is 48. And C equals negative 500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is located right here. So I have negative B. In this case, it will be negative 48 plus or minus square root. And the expression that's inside the radical is called a discriminant. So we have 48 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 500. Divided by 2a, so in this case it's going to be 2 times negative 1. Let's go ahead and type in uh, the discriminant. So I have parentheses. 48 squared 
minus 4 parentheses negative 1 close parentheses parentheses uh, negative 500. And you notice I forgot the negative there, but you need to write the negative 500 there. And so what you get is 304. So I have negative 48 plus or minus the square root of 304 divided by 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, well, I have 304, so I'm going to get the square root of 304. Well, the two situations is going to be negative 48 plus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2. Or I can have x equals negative 4 minus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first situation. So I have, I have control division. So I have negative 48 plus the square root of 304 divided by negative 2. And that's 15.28. Uh, the least second charge there is $15.28. Now I can, I, can I can charge another amount. But let's see if it's lower than this amount. So it's negative 48 minus the square root of 304 divided by, well, control division. I need to type in negative 48. So negative 48 minus the square root of 304 over negative 2, and that's $32.71, so I think it was asking how much can, what's the least amount that you can charge, it's, it would have to be $15.28 for each CD to get a maximum, to get a maximum profit of $200. Uh, we do have uh, district exams. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good to review how do you do your bubbling. Uh, in this case, you do have a decimal here, so you you shade it right here. And of course, you have the one, and you have the five, and then you have the twenty-nine. I think it's set to round it out to the nearest penny. Uh, 